What is going on everybody? It is me again. It is HorrorFan34 and welcome to another video. <clears throat> and welcome to day 10 of the 31 Days of Horror Challenge in October. Now that we are on day 10 of the challenge, I figured it was finally time for me to talk about this film when it came to horror movies. And I feel like this is like one of the most underrated films. Like not just horror films, but like underrated films period. And I still think to this day it's my favorite alien abduction sort of like movie. It's got such a creepy concept and it has a fantastic cast of people. And if you can tell by the title of the video already, it's going to be on Fire in the Sky. Alien abduction on November 5th, 1975 at 5.49 p.m. White Mountains, northeastern Arizona. Based on the true story which, yes, this is based on a true story. But Fire in the Sky came out in 1993, directed by Robert Lieberman. Now, strangely enough, this is the same guy that directed, um, would, would later go on to do D3, The Mighty Ducks, of all things. Yes, the same guy that did Fire in the Sky went on to direct D3, The Mighty Ducks, which is really strange. And then later on would eventually direct um, The Tortured with... Um, I think Jesse Metcalf, you had uh, Erica Christensen and Bill Mosley as the kidnapper in that film. Uh, but this is without a doubt the, the director's best film, Fire in the Sky. Now, the basic idea is that you have you have a group of friends. Uh, they, they're a bunch of loggers that they, they work in the forest. You have, uh, you have your, our lead, Travis, played by D.B. Sweeney. And his other friends, like Robert Patrick... Craig Sheffer, Peter Berg, Henry Thomas. They're all buddies, and they work as loggers, and then one thing leads to another. D.B. Sweeney, that they see something in the sky, like a red sort of like thing in the sky, and they think it's fire, but it's really a UFO. And it zaps this light, and basically D.B. Sweeney gets abducted, pretty much, and then the other friends escape, and... D.B. Sweetie comes back, and it's like, it's. I'm not going to get into it a whole lot, but definitely the creepiest film than we're dealing with an alien abduction. Now, the first thing that helps about this film is this cast. I mean, first off, D.B. Sweeney does a great job as our lead Travis. Uh, and some of the other, like Robert Patrick plays his best friend. I thought he, Robert Patrick, did a great job. You have Craig Sheffer, Peter Berg, Henry Thomas... Uh, you have James Garner, may he rest in peace, James Garner as the, uh, as the, uh, investigator, the sheriff, who thinks that D.B. Sweeney was murdered, and there was, like, a whole investigation, there was all eyes pointing on Robert Patrick, and Robert Patrick feels guilt for not being able to save his buddy, and, you know, things like that, but, and certainly for this film, too, I mean, I can kind of see where... Nope kind of got an inspiration from because if you see Nope uh, with the the abduction scene, um, you, you get what I mean. But uh, I still think without a doubt, I mean, Nope was really the closest thing to this film when it came to the creepiest idea of an alien abduction. And especially with this, like, especially the scene where you see D.B. Sweeney inside the UFO when, you know, the aliens are working on that procedure on him and they're, he's, he's getting covered up in that white plastic looking stuff and... They're going to stick this thing in his eye, and they have this one eyeball, like, peeled open to the, through the uh, plastic-looking stuff, so that way they, his eyeball can see the camera. It's probably the creepiest film I've seen, like, the creepiest scene I've seen that deals with inside a UFO. And I thought the look of the aliens were really, really well done. I really like the effects that they're done on the aliens. They're, they're probably uh, suits, but uh, I still really like the design of the aliens. They were interesting-looking. And, like I said, this cast really does hold it together very well. I mean, D.B. Sweeney, you feel sorry for him. I think Robert Patrick does a great job as his friend. You know, Craig Sheffer, Peter Berg, Henry Thomas, James James Garner. Always been a big fan of James Garner from Space Cowboys and many other things. Does a great job as the sheriff. And, and just a very well done, very well done flick. Um... There's not much more I could say about Fire in the Sky without spoiling a whole lot, but 
if you like alien abduction movies and you like this cast of people, definitely check this film out. Um, and I think it was very well directed as well by Robert Lieberman. I thought the score was pretty effective as well by Mar Mark Isham. Does a great, did a good job on the score. And, you know, I just, it's just a very creepy, just a very creepy uh, alien abduction movie. I mean, it's really all I can say about the film uh, without spoiling it too much. But everybody knows the scene when it comes to the actual abduction scene and D.B. Sweeney and that procedure and just a creepy, really weird concept like the, the scene like really strange and but very effective and definitely gives you chills down your spine that's for sure and you know i think db and db sweeney you know really did sold it in his performance he really did sell it in his performance but overall very well done flick if you like alien abduction movies then you definitely got to check this out i think it's definitely the best of that kind when it comes to ufo sort of like movies I'd say Nope was a, is a close second, but that's definitely the best one when it comes to dealing with a UFO and things like that. Like I said, headed by a great cast. Very well done alien abduction scene. Very creepy. Great musical score as well. But that's pretty much it for my review for Fire in the Sky. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.